become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to share some of Steve Reeves' most impressive strength feats ever recorded. Many weightlifters criticize bodybuilders during the Silver Era for only working on their physiques to look good and for not being strong. However, Reeves was definitely as strong as he looked. The man that looked like Superman was as strong as Superman, performing amazing strength feats such as this amazing teeth lift performed on stage during an exhibition given by Reeves during the 1950s. Reeves would go on to impress and wow the crowd with many other superhuman feats of strength, which we, which I will now recount for you today in this video. I hope you enjoy it. One of the best strength feats ever recorded has to be the Reeves deadlift, where here we can see Reeves performing a fingertip snatch grip with over 400 pounds. And it is said that it actually occurred in the York gym in preparation for the 1950 Mr. Universe competition. And in an interview with Dennis Weiss, um, he actually um, talks about this particular incident. And here we have it, um, a quote from the actual article. Many of the hardcore lifters at York considered Steve's uh, training approach and exercises to be sissified at the time. In fact, someone at the gym questioned whether Steve was really strong or not. Upon hearing that comment, Steve was quoted as saying, I can be as strong as I want to be. Follow me. With another word, sorry, without another word, he loaded a seven foot Olympic bar to approximately 400 pounds. Then he reached down and with his arms fully extended to span more than six feet, gripped the lip of the 45 pound plate with only his fingers and proceeded to deadlift the enormous poundage. This demonstration of the fingertip or snatch grip deadlifting quieted his doubters big time. Indeed. Now in the same article, a story is actually recounted by John Grimmick um, because Dennis Weiss actually had, had a visit of John Grimmick where John Grimmick actually firstly uh, confirms the story of, de of, uh, of Reeves deadlifting 400 pounds with his fingertips. But he actually then shared a story of Reeves cleaning a 225 pound weight while he was on his knees. Let's hear from Dennis Weiss and this um, chance encounter with John C. Grimmick. Back in 1986, the late monarch of musledom John C. Grimmick paid me a surprise visit here in Ketchikan, Alaska and during a conversation we were having about Reeves he confirmed the snatch grip deadlift story as he had seen it first hand. Grimmick also went on to say that Steve could as an impromptu feat of strength that is unprepared not warmed up he just would do this clean a 225 pound barbell from the floor while kneeling. I mean that is just incredible. I know just how difficult an accomplishment it is because I have in, in, in years past never impromptu but with lots and lots of practice emulated Steve's feet and beyond with 250 pounds. We are talking about John Grimming. John Grimming actually couldn't even do this. He had to actually practice this and eventually exceeded doing a clean of over 250 pounds while kneeling on the floor. Whereas Reeves, without practice, could just do it. Can you imagine the strength in Reeves? We are talking about superhuman strength indeed. Snatch gripping 400 pounds with his fingertips and doing a clean of 225, unprepared, on his knees. Incredible. As I recounted earlier, Steve was often challenged even by weightlifters because weightlifters didn't actually believe that, um, that bodybuilders were strong. And in one account, he was challenged by a weightlifter named George Brignola, the California middleweight heavyweight champion, to a front squat contest. Amazingly, Reeves matched Brignola pound for pound, with both men working up to 375 pounds for 10 repetitions. Can you imagine that? 375 on the front squat, not for one rep, for 10 reps. That's incredible. Now we've all seen these phenomenal and nostalgic photos of Reeves on an inclined wooden board 
performing dim dumbbell um, incline presses, but to most of you, you may not actually know what poundage he was using. Uh, while training, Reeves could do 10 sets of 10 repetitions on the incline dumbbell press with 110 pound dumbbells in each hand. I'll say it again, with 110 pounders in each hand. That is impressive. And not only that, he would do 10 repetitions, rest for 90 seconds in between rests, uh, sorry, in between sets, and then perform this again 10 times, 10 by 10 with 110 on the incline dumbbell press. That is super Herculean strength here by Steve Reeves. As mentioned earlier, Steve was actually criticized for having sissy-like workouts. I wouldn't actually say so, especially when there are stories of Reeves performing incline curls on an incline board where he had this special, um, I guess, attachment at the back of the bar where um, he custom made, so to speak, the incline bench to um, actually allow him to brace his elbows. And doing so, he could handle 75 pound dumbbells on the incline curls for 10 reps of several sets. That's right, 75 pound dumbbells. We're talking about <laughs> almost 30, yeah, about 30, 32 kilos or so in each hand for 10 reps for several sets. That's, that's amazing. Steve Reeves was truly a powerful human being. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen this particular photo, but this is the famous teeth lift photo of Reeves, who's actually lifting his training partner, George Eiferman, who weighed well over 200 pounds with a, with a teeth kind of um, chain apparatus that is, uh, that is, or harness, so to speak, that is actually being attached on George Eiferman's waist. And you can see that teeth is biting down on this actual piece of leather. That's actually what it is. I've seen the original, a photo of the original um, in, on a website, I believe. And it's actually um, Reeves biting down on this piece of leather, which is attached to this chain, which is attached to a belt or a harness, which is around George Eiferman. Weighing well over 200 pounds, Steve could lift him off the floor. Can you imagine the strength of his jaws, his neck, his entire torso? I mean, that is just a full body lift. Incredible strength from Steve Reeves. Now, if you did click on the video because you're a massive Steve Reeves fan and are, of course, a fan of his physique, of his timeless, iconic physique, you can click on www.goldenerabookroom.com if you wish to find out more about his training methods. For example, how he developed his calves, how he developed his broad shoulders, and how he developed his tiny, tiny waist. All these booklets written by myself are available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, and they are based on Steve Reeves' many, many articles that he's written over the years. Check it out. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Again, I pay homage to the great Steve Reeves. I think he's one of the greatest natural bodybuilders that ever lived. And a lot of people ask whether he took steroids, whether he was on performance enhancing drugs. And I say this, for those of you that doubt, first of all, try at least even imagine of trying some of the feats of strength that he could perform. The man was truly a superman, a superhuman, definitely with abilities like that. And this is one thing I find common about uh, people that accuse others of, of um, cheating their way to a strong uh, physique. I, I think you should consider the fact that these men were strong. Look at Reg Park, look at Steve Reeves. These guys could perform incredible feats of strength, which meant they had some incredible foundation, and this allowed them to develop such musculature. This homage to Steve Reeves, I think, is, is deserved. The man was truly a superman, as shown by these incredible strength feats. And I do hope you've enjoyed me recounting some of these amazing stories of Reeves. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. Again, if um, you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal. You can become a patron on my Patreon account. You can also visit my website to find out on, on uh, training methods, uh, out of print books, and courses and all on old school bodybuilding. And of course, you can email me if you wish to pass on your books and magazines from your collection to add to my collection on my email. Again, it's in the description given below. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.
And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.